let's check this place out. Now I know we're not supposed to go in this death water. That's not good. But, oh, there's this, let's hop down here. Awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so oh, much. Shoot. I'm kind of trapped here. Oh no. Oh no. What do I do? Oh, I'm kind of in a pickle. This is not a good spot to be in. I'm a fool. I thought perhaps this is where I should be. It looks like maybe I can go that way. Is this a fool's errand? Maybe I'll save, but this might be bad. Let's use celerity and run as fast as we can. Let's run. Oh, shoot. Decide Disciplines are not allowed, but it looks like I did sneak by that area real quick. Okay, cool. Let's continue this way. There's also a path through the water. Maybe let's try that as well. Oh, in fact, it looks like that's where we're meant to be. Let's go. Yeah, that acid is a lot a less pH than a pickle even. I don't want to be a human pickle or a vampire pickle. I don't want to be either. Let's continue this way. We're in the vamp, the Nosferatu lair. That's where we are now. The Nosferatu, the hideous ones that mustn't be seen by humanity. Else, well, all masquerade is up because you can tell these guys are definitely not human. Oh. We've got doors. Let's check these doors to the left first. We move our way right. Oh, cannot go there. This door looks promising. Hello, person. Just casually walking into your house. Hey, how's it going? What the? <laughs> oh, you did not just try and run a trace on me. All right, take that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hope you backed up that server tonight. Boss is gonna be real pissed when his mom starts getting the love letters from porn sites. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got him. Uh, hello? I hate to intrude what? like this. Oh, yeah, hold on a sec. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you kidding? Hook, but stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh... Hey there. Uh, <laughs> He's okay. still going. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to uh, worry about. Just a harmless email. Not a self-replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> 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 wow. You really opened it. I can't believe you just opened it. What kind of a freaking <laughs> idiot just opens it? Uh, that's too funny. Maybe I'll just come back later. Uh, Oh, yeah, sorry. The name's Mitnick. <laughs> Mitnick, I'm in charge pleasure. of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? Yep. And Croy's girl. Uh, Surprised you actually made it down here. Thanks. <laughs> uh, surprised? What do you mean? Me too. Tell me a little more about yourself. Me? Like I said, I'm, I'm the resident tech head. Keep this place wired to the outside world. Gary wants me to keep it close on the street. At the same time, I'm supposed to be upgrading the, sh the ne network. Upgrading what? What were you going to say? <laughs> Not nothing. Forget about it. Like I said, just some network stuff. Mm-hmm. So, what do you have to do? I'm trying to add a few more network hubs in the city so we're covered in case of emergency. But Gary doesn't want anyone leaving until this whole thing with LaCroix blows over. Which basically leaves my freaking cheese hanging in the wind. <laughs> Interesting dilemma. Hey, maybe I can help you out. Yeah, yeah you, you do that. Yeah, sure. Man, that would really help me out. I could hook you up along the way. Make it worth your while. I got access Ooh. to all kinds of goodies. I'm interested in goodies. I mean, what do I need to do? Uh, I, I, I need a little time to set things up. Okay. Te technical details. I'll send an email to your haven and tell you what needs to be done. That's okay. all you need to know for now. Sweet. Thanks. Um, by the way, how'd you end up here? Me? Before all this, I was a hacker. Good one, too. There wasn't a system I couldn't crack. Telcos, DOD, you name it. One time, <laughs> I emailed the president all the nuclear missile activation codes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> He's so pants. excited. <laughs> Aw, I appreciate the fashion, Mitnick. Across the system. Oh, totally dark. Unbelievable security. I fried three laptops trying to bust it. I worked on it for months. Didn't, didn't sleep much at all. I'd almost given up, but I caught a lucky break one night and finally broke in. <laughs> yeah? What was it? It was, uh... Those <gasps> Faratu database. Uh... Not even a really important one either. Which was probably the only reason I nice. cracked it. I dug around for a while, got totally freaked out, and I unplugged. Two hours later, guess who shows up at my door? Gary. Gary. <laughs> and <laughs> voila, here I am. All right. So you say, hello, Martian man. But that's exactly it. A Nosferatu. They are the least physical, like a human. You cannot blend in. To avoid the masquerade, you cannot be seen by a human. You are so obviously grotesque, different, strange. A Nosferatu. You must hide in the shadows. Wow. That's, uh, yeah. How's life or unlife since then? Are you kidding? <laughs> I love this shit. I mean, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm good not for you. I not beauty contests, but I wasn't too good looking before anyway. Aww. Now I get all the cool new toys, plus I just happen to get to live forever. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Honestly, yeah. That, I guess. I have a few more questions. Go ahead. Uh, tell me about this place. What, the Warrens? Not much to tell. Just a bunch of us living down here, trying to stay off the radar. It ain't pretty, but it's home. Gary's the big man on campus. He's running the show. Mm, I see. The place looks pretty empty. There's more of us than you'd think. They're around. But you won't see too many of the brood down here. But they'll be watching you. <laughs> <laughs> That's comforting. Go Anything ahead. else? I'm just looking for Gary. Yeah, he knows why you're here. The Croys must be pissed. But I hope you're not here looking for some payback. LaCroix knows better than to mess with Gary, sheriff or no sheriff. Hmm. I'm just here to talk. Where can I find him? His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll go find him. See ya. You hope I like Gary? Oh, I'm eager to meet him. Let's continue down the hall then. This way. Oh, that's elite building right here. <laughs> Whoever lives here is clearly a hacker as well. I love it. Let's keep hunting. Oh. The sin bin. Bitch, I can't believe she got the cover of Glamorella this month. What? What are you talking about? I mean, just look at her. Too fat, big teeth in her complexion. Does she wash her face with a cheese grater? Uh, hey, you know, I'm not sure you should be talking about anyone's complexion. Slow down, cowgirl. Who exactly are we talking about here? <laughs> I mean, like anyone ever knew who Tawny Sessions was before I left the scene. She'd still be a fluff girl at Vivisection, making ten bucks a stiffy if I was still around. <laughs> Ugh. Who the hell is Tawny Sessions? Tawny Sessions is a wannabe face girl with no talent whatsoever and scabby little knees. Do you know she got model of the year? No. Nope. Before I got here, she would have had a hard time making the catalog for Jacques Penet. Mm. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, who are you, by the way? Oh, right. You probably don't recognize me with this whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing I've got going on here. My name is Imalia. Emolia? Just Emolia? What's your last name? Last name? God, that's so blue collar <laughs> makes me want to puke! I don't have a last name. Emolia's a look, an attitude, a state of being. Dude, rock on, girl. I respect that. Uh, whatever. What's your beef with Tawny Sessions? <laughs> Before this neat little makeover, I used to be a model. I was all over the place. TV, magazines, billboards. I mean, I was hot. Super hot. And I knew it. Which is why Gary decided to invite me into his freaky little family. 
Interesting. Uh, maybe you should let it go. You'd probably be happier. Spare me your head shrink bullshit. You've got no <laughs> idea what I'm going through here. I mean, I can't sit here and let the world think she's better than me. I've got to do something. She's the girl in the red dress on the poster spread throughout the game. No way. All right. Just fine. Just offer and get it done with. I don't want to kill her. That's too quick and painless. Mm. I want to ruin her name in the business for good. See, all right. I want to dig right. up something on her that smells so bad even the tabloids will think twice about printing it. Huh. Sounds cool. So what's stopping you? Gary says that everyone has to lay low until this thing with the prince cools down. Until then, I'm stuck here watching the whole world kiss Tawny's big fat ass. Hmm. Maybe I could help you out. What would I need to do? I have some wireless cameras that I need you to set up in her apartment. Mm. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom, and one in her kitchen. I'm sure you'll see good places to hide them. Yikes! Ah, oh, man, such invasion of privacy. What else? Once the cameras are in place, you'll need to hook them up to the network. Log into her computer using the password. Yeah, clear yeah. this is clear invasion there, of privacy. You'll be able to activate the camera. So we need to go into her bedroom, her bathroom. Why the bathroom? Yeah, exactly. Okay, her. Okay, so Tammy, we should write this down. Tammy, her password is Cleopatra. Okay, from there you'll be able to activate the cameras. Uh, what's in it for me? Look, I'll definitely make it worth your while if you do it right. But listen, I don't want her dead. I want her to suffer. Get in and get out without her knowing about it. Understand? I'll think about it. Can I ask a few more questions? Sure, whatever. I... Uh, tell me again... Tell me about how you came to be here. Nosferatu have a sixth sense of humor. Sometimes they feel that their victims, namely moi in this particular case, have an overabundance of vanity and need to be taught an important life lesson. It seems like you didn't really learn that yet, seeing as you want to destroy someone. So what happened? Well, I had just won Guy Magazine's The Most Ridiculously Hot Chick in the Known <laughs> Universe Award. And when I came now, home after the reward. ceremony, lo and behold, Gary was sitting there on my couch with a martini in his hand. You fill in the blanks. That sucks. So, have you learned your life lesson? Yeah, the lesson is life is a cold-hearted bitch, so now I get Oof. to be one, too. You get that? You need to write it down? Mm. Loud and clear. Can I ask you a few more questions? Sure, whatever. I'm looking for Gary. You know where he is? His room is just down the hall. You might be able to find him in there. All right, I'll go see him. See ya. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I can help her. Like, I think she still has not learned. How am I to know? Continue to fuel this fantasy of hers as she stalks this lady. Whoa. This door was just shut on me. Hello? Is anyone here? Oh, blood bag. Yes, please. Oh, man. I was running out of those. Let's continue down the hall, then. Shoot. All this all this river you really couldn't like fix this up it's making me real nervous <laughs> oh man here we go here let's jump up okay cool so this is it this is gary that uh, must be check out that double door he's got some wild tunnels too they don't really go anywhere. He's playing piano. Let's, let's save. <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh. Uh, well, these dead people. By the clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. 
We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Aha. Uh -huh. Where are you? Maybe I'm in your head. Uh-oh. You might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. I... I just need to talk to you. We are talking. But you aren't listening, boss. Who are you? You're used to getting what you want, aren't you lovely? People just love your charisma, your face. They eat your words up like the rats eat the cheese in the trap. Oh, boss, where do you think you are? Show yourself. I'll show you the cards I've been dealt. But you put yours on the table first. Who are you? Maybe I'm a ghost. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't tell me you just stumbled down here. What I need to know is why you're here. Let's talk face to face. Say hello to Gary, the antagonist of our chronicle. I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? What do you want? <laughs> I want to stick your lovely face in a piranha tank. I want to apply an acid glaze to your sculptured body. I want to throw your pocket mirror under a thresher and watch you fetch it. But I'm no butcher, boss. Are you... I'm here about the Encurrent Sarcophagus. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the Prince. Why did you ask, then? Because I like the sound of my own voice. <laughs> 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 it's not every day we get visitors, boss. I needed to hear it from you. You're a long way from home, and neither the prince nor Isaac nor Nines have any domain down here. Tread carefully. Who are you? Show yourself. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Mm. Yes. Come on out. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> yeah? Behind you, boss. Boo! <laughs> oh, he's not so bad. You're the most offensive of seen thing I've ever seen. Not true. Oh, God, Toreador. <laughs> you vain, glorious, narcissistic poser. How I loathe that determination of your kind <laughs> to belie your true nature with Paris fashions and pomp. You are a dead thing, a creature of the shadows. Start acting like one. I love his suit. He's so adorable. Look at that dapper mofo. Oh. Interesting. Who are you? What? You don't recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Mm. Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. A little before your time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. Nowadays, it's just Gary. Delighted, Gary. <laughs> now, where's the sarcophagus? Where, where, where did it go? <laughs> that thing seems to get around more than May West. <laughs> Why, might I ask, should I give you that information? Mm. Because I got rid of that Sumishi for you. Oh, my hero. Had it not been for that damn Shamisi, you'd still be searching under rocks for us. It was hardly a favor, but 
I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Kuei Jin? What's a... what's a Kuei Jin? The Kuei Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. Mm hmm. Tell me more. Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. I see. Go on. You up for a little trip to Chinatown? Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown, I'll give you what you need. Hmm. All right. Deal. I'll go if you make it worth my while. Of course you will, by giving me the sarcophagus. Hey, save yourself some time, boss. You've got no bargaining power. <laughs> I know true. Prince Pris is breathing down your neck every second you keep him from his prize. Close your mouth, chew on the resentment, and open your ears. The Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss-poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That I saw is where you'll find the leader of the L.A. Kui Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao. Ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. Hmm. Aren't the kindred at war with the Quajin? Not that I know of. It's like the eye of the hurricane right now. Don't make those winds blow, boss. Hmm. Sounds dangerous. Got anything I can use to protect myself? Let's see what I got. For one of your kind, it ain't gonna be cheap. One measly bud blood pack? <laughs> Very funny. Anything else? That thing behind that pretty face of yours is called a brain. If you want to survive in Chinatown, I suggest you use it. Or if all else fails... You could just use your pocket mirror to blind them. <laughs> pocket mirror to blind them? Why don't you go yourself? He's already answered. All right, I'll go. But you better keep your end of the deal. Of course. What kind of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> There is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then, you'll never know where I am. Hmm. Oh. All right. That's it. Okay. It's as good as done. Bye. Frankenstein <laughs> right here. <laughs> I'm not a monster. Yeah, <laughs> he disappears off in the night. Well, I love the piano. Who's playing the piano? Should I? Can I snoop in all the stuff since he's just left me here? You've made. You've left me no choice but to snoop through all your stuff. I guess there wasn't much to snoop, huh? <laughs> Dude, at this rhythm, I should finish the game by Friday. That. That is my goal, actually, to do that. So I'm quite excited. Well, I suppose we'll head back up to the surface world. We've got three different objectives, different quests that we can do for the Nosferatu. I suppose we'll go through this door. And where are we? Is this... Wait, we're in the mausoleum, in the cemetery in Hollywood? Whoa. Interesting. If we ever need to go back, well, we'll know where to go. Nice. Cool. That's easy. Follow the bones. I was wondering that. The bones made it seem like there was something going on there. Like, something I could do. But I was confused because, well, there was nothing there at the time. Now I understand. Let's head back.